Flight Sim 10 Tutorial A2A Cessna 182 Repaint with Corel Paint Shop Pro This is a fast-paced step-by-step tutorial. To keep up, press pause and read the captioning. Download and install AccuSim Skylane FSX Payware A2A C182 Paint Kit Freeware Corel Paint Shop Pro Free Trial DXT BMP Freeware Amarillo USAF True Type Font Freeware Bookmark this page and come back after you install all those programs. Ready to paint? Start Paint Shop Pro. Click File, click Preferences, click Auto Save Settings, uncheck Automatically Save Backup Copies, and click OK. Click File, click Open. Navigate to the folder where you expanded file A2AC182PaintKit.zip and double-click file C182TPaintKit.psd to open it. Be patient, it will take a long time to open, even on a fast computer. Close the organizer and the learning palettes. On the Layers palette, click the Collapse All Layers icon. Click the Mesh layer, scroll to the bottom of the Layers list, press and hold the Shift key, and click the Background layer to select all layers. Release the Shift key, and click the Background layer Visibility toggle to hide all layers. Click the Background layer to select it alone, and click its visibility toggle to reveal the layer. Right-click Livery Delta Echo X-Ray Sierra Whiskey layer and click Duplicate. Double-click Copy of Livery Delta Echo X-Ray Sierra Whiskey and rename it Texture underscore Charlie dash Uniform Tango Uniform Papa and click OK. Click the visibility toggle of Texture Charlie Uniform Tango Uniform Papa layer to reveal it. From the Tools palette, select the Pan tool. Click, drag, and roll the mouse wheel to zoom in on the fuselage registration numbers. From the Tools palette, choose the Rectangular Selection tool. On the Tool Options palette, set Mode to Replace Set Feather to 0, check the Anti-Alias box, set Selection Style to Normal, click and drag to select the fuselage registration numbers, and press the Delete key. From the Tools palette, select the Pan tool. Click, drag, and scroll to the Underwing registration number. From the Tools palette, Choose the Rectangular Selection tool. Click and drag to select the underwing registration number and press the Delete key. From the Tools palette, select the Pan tool. Click, drag and scroll to the German flags on the Vertical Stabilizer. From the Tools palette, choose the Rectangular Selection tool. Select the top flag and press the Delete key. From the Tools palette, select the Flood Fill tool. On the Materials palette, click the Foreground Color Swatch to open the Materials Properties dialog. Hover the Eyedropper tool over any blue on the Vertical Stabilizer and click. Then click OK. 
Hover the Flood Fill tool over the selected area you just deleted and click. From the Tools palette, choose the Rectangular Selection tool. Select the bottom flag and press the Delete key. From the Tools palette, select the Flood Fill tool. Hover the Flood Fill tool over the selected area you just deleted and click. On the main menu bar, click Selections and click Select None. From the Tools palette, select the Color Changer tool. On the Tool Options palette, set Tolerance to 10 and Edge Softness to 10. On the Materials palette, click a color swatch to choose the color you want to use for the major trim. Hover the crosshairs of the Color Changer tool over any blue trim on the Texture Charlie Uniform Tango Uniform Papa layer and click. Scroll and zoom onto the edge of the trim color. Hover the Color Changer tool over the anti-alias edges and click once on each. On the Layers palette, click any layer other than the Texture Charlie Uniform Tango Uniform Papa layer, then click the Texture Charlie Uniform Tango Uniform Papa layer to select it by itself. On the Materials palette, click the color swatch of your choice to use for the accent trim. Hover the crosshairs of the Color Changer tool over any brown accent trim on the Texture Charlie Uniform Tango Uniform Papa layer and click. Scroll and zoom onto any edge of the accent trim. Hover the Color Changer tool over the anti-alias edges and click once on each. On the main menu, click View, click Rulers, click View, click Snap to Guides. Hover the cursor over the vertical ruler so it turns to a plus sign. Click and drag a guide onto the horizontal ruler. Right-click the guide handle, enter 3651, and click OK. Drag guides onto the horizontal ruler at 3371, 3136, 2777, 2200 and 661. Hover the cursor over the horizontal ruler so it turns to a plus sign. Click and drag guides onto the vertical ruler at 3661, 3169, One four six one eight eight three seven five one and four six two. From the tools palette, select the text tool. On the Tool Options palette, set Font to Amarillo USAF. Set Size to 200. Set Units to Points. Deselect all font styles. Click the Font Color Swatch to open the Materials Properties window. Select a font color and click OK. Set Alignment to Align Center. Set Direction Text Flow to Horizontal and Down. Set Anti-Alias to Smooth. Set Stroke Width to 5.
Click the Stroke Color Swatch to open the Materials Properties window. Select a Stroke Color and click OK. Set Create As to Vector. Open the More Options drop-down menu and set Miter Limit to 10 and Kerning to 35. Hover the cursor over the junction of the 2200 horizontal and 1461 vertical guides and click. Type Charlie dash uniform tango uniform papa. On the layers palette, right click the vector 1 layer and click convert to raster layer. On the main menu, click Effects, click Geometric Effects, and click Skew. Set Skew Direction to Horizontal. Set Skew Angle to minus 20. Set Edge Mode to Transparent and click OK. From the Tools palette, select the Pick tool. Hover the cursor over the center node of the Raster 1 bounding box so it turns to four-way arrows. Click, drag, and snap it to the junction of the 2200 horizontal and 1461 vertical guides. On the Tool Options palette, set Angle to 359.5 degrees. On the Layers palette, click the Texture Charlie-Uniform Tango Uniform Papa layer. From the Tools palette, select the Text tool. Hover the cursor over the junction of the 2200 Horizontal and 883 Vertical Guides and click. Type Charlie dash Uniform Tango Uniform Papa. On the Layers palette, right click the Vector 1 layer and click Convert to Raster layer. On the main menu, click Effects, click Geometric Effects, click Skew. Set Skew Angle to 20 and click OK. From the Tools palette, select the Pick tool. Hover the cursor over the center node of the Raster 2 bounding box so it turns to four-way arrows. Click, drag, and snap it to the junction of the 2200 horizontal and 883 vertical guides. On the Tools option palette, set Angle to 180.5. From the Tools palette, select the Pan tool. Click, drag, and scroll to the bottom left of the image. From the Tools palette, select the Text tool. Hover the cursor over the junction of the 661 Horizontal and 3169 Vertical Guides and click. Type Charlie-Uniform Tango Uniform Papa. On the Layers palette, right-click the Vector 1 layer and click Convert to Raster layer. From the Tools palette, select the Pick tool. Hover the cursor over the center node of the Raster 3 bounding box so it turns to four-way arrows. Click, drag, and snap it to the junction of the 661 horizontal and 3169 vertical guides. On the Tool Options palette, set Angle to 180. Hold down the Control key and on the Layers palette, click Raster 1 and Raster 2 layers to select all three raster layers. Right-click Selected Layers, click Merge, and click Merge Selected. 
double-click Merge to Layer, rename it Charlie-Uniform Tango-Uniform Papa, and click OK. Click Texture Charlie-Uniform Tango-Uniform Papa Layer to select it alone. From the Tools palette, you select the Pan Tool. Click, drag, and scroll to the Fuselage Accent Trim. From the Tools palette, select the Freehand Selection Tool. Set Selection Type to Point to Point. Click Points to select the top small piece of accent trim. On the Main menu, click Edit and click Copy. Click Selections and click Select None. From the Tools palette, select the Pan Tool. Click, drag, and scroll to the upper right-hand group of guidelines. On the main menu, click Edit and click Paste as new selection. Hover the cursor over the junction of the 2777 horizontal and 751 vertical guides and click. From the Tools palette, select the Pick Tool. On the Tool Options palette, set X and Y scales to 50. Hover the cursor over the center node of the promoted selection bounding box so it turns to a four-headed arrow. Click and drag the promoted selection layer to snap at the junction of 2777 horizontal and 751 vertical guides. Right click the promoted selection layer and select Duplicate. On the main menu, click Image, click Flip, and click Flip Horizontal. Hover the cursor over the center node of the bounding box so it turns to a four-headed arrow. Click and drag the copy of Promoted Selection Layer to snap at the junction of the 3136 Horizontal and 751 Vertical Guides. Right click the copy of Promoted Selection Layer and click Duplicate. On the Tool Options palette, set the angle to 270. Hover the cursor over the center node of the Copy 2 of Promoted Selection Layer bounding box so it turns to a four-headed arrow. Then click and drag the Copy 2 of Promoted Selection Layer to snap at the junction of the 3371 Horizontal and 462 Vertical Guides. Right click the Copy 2 of Promoted Selection Layer and click Duplicate. On the main menu, click Image, click Flip, and click Flip Horizontal. Hover the cursor over the center node of the Copy 3 of Promoted Selection Layer bounding box so it turns to a four-headed arrow. Click and drag the Copy 3 of Promoted Selection Layer to snap at the junction of the 3651 Horizontal and 462 Vertical Guides. Hold down the Control key and on the Layers palette, click on each of the promoted selections you just created. Right-click the selections, click Merge, and click Merge Selected. Double-click on the merged layer, rename it Spats, and click OK. Hold down the Control key and select the Charlie-Uniform Tango-Uniform Papa layer the Spats layer, and the Texture Charlie-Uniform Tango-Uniform Papa layer. Click New Layer Group. 
name the Lear group livery underscore Charlie dash uniform tango uniform Papa and click OK. Scroll to the top of the layers palette. Right click the linear burn layer. Click properties. Set blend mode to burn and click OK. Scroll down the layers list to weathering overlay layer. Hold down the shift key and click the weathering overlay layer to select it and all the intervening layers. Click the visibility toggle to make the selected layers visible. Scroll to the top of the layers list. Right click the mesh layer. Click merge and click merge visible to new layer. On the main menu click image Click Flip, click Flip Vertical, click Selections, click Select All, click Edit, and click Copy. Open Windows File Explorer. Navigate to and open FSX slash Sim Objects slash Airplanes slash a to A underscore Charlie 182 folder. Right click Texture dot one folder and click Copy. Right click on the A to A Charlie 182 folder and click Paste. Right click Texture dot one copy folder. Click Rename and name it Texture Dot Charlie Dash Uniform Tango Uniform Papa. Double click Texture Dot Charlie Dash Uniform Tango Uniform Papa folder to open it. Right click Charlie 182 underscore T dot DDS. Click Open With and select DXT bitmap manipulator to always open DDS files. After the file opens on the main menu, click Preferences and click Select Editor. Navigate to the Paint Shop Pro Exec file, click to select it, and click Open. On the main menu, click Image and click Send to Editor. When the image opens in PaintShop Pro, on the main menu, click Selections, click Select All, click Edit, and click Paste into Selection. Click Selections, and click Select None. Click the Norm.BMP Close icon and click Yes to save the changes. On the Layers palette, right-click Merged Layer, click Delete, and click Yes. On the main menu, click File, click Save As, click Save As Type drop-down list arrow, click PSP Image, Change the file name to Charlie 182 underscore Tango underscore Paint Kit dot PSP and click Save. It will take a long time to save, so be patient. Henceforth, use this PSP file for all your A2A Skylane repaints. Close Paint Shop Pro. On the DXT BMP main menu, click Image, click Reload after Edit, click File, click Save, set Save As Type to DDS DXT 5, click Save, and click Yes to overwrite the original file. It will take a long time to save, so be patient. 
After the file has been saved, close DXT BMP. Open Windows File Explorer and navigate to folder FSX slash SIM objects slash airplanes slash A2A Charlie 182. Right click aircraft.config and click Edit. The file will open in Notepad. Click and drag to select from the beginning of Flight Sim.0 to the beginning of Flight Sim.1. Right click and click Copy. Scroll down the config file and place the cursor at the very beginning of General. Right click and click Paste. Change the Flight Sim.0 line you just pasted to Flight Sim.n N plus 1, where N is the value of the last Flight Sim. Number that had been entered. Only within the elements that you just pasted, change Texture equals 1 to Texture equals Charlie underscore Uniform Tango Uniform Papa and replace every Victor Hotel dash Delta Lima Lima with Charlie dash Uniform Tango Uniform Papa. Enter your repaint info in the description. Click File, click Save, and close Notepad. Start FSX and take your new airplane out for a flight.